Hello YouTube, it's BK Dub back again, playing some Street Fighter V. Uh, Oro and Akira both just dropped today, so we're going to go through their little story modes real quick and see what they're like. So let's start with Oro. And he snores. Oh, get right into the fight. Okay. Oh, I missed. It's perfectly all right to look far in the distance, but if you look too far, you won't see what's on your foot. I understand. Then you are trying to search for that strange energy? Correct. After Bison was destroyed, the positive energy returned, and the world went back to normal. However, even in this tranquil atmosphere, I sense a source of disturbing energy from the one called G. To see through its true nature, I think I have no choice but to touch it directly with my soul. Now I see. That's why you were practicing against me. You wanted to try and refine your soul power. <laughs> I am sorry, old master. No old master. Oh, I like how the turtles wear sunglasses too. I got this nice shirt from you as a little souvenir. I am very happy that you like it. The traditional Japanese crane pattern is very chic. You have such great taste. <laughs> <laughs> then, old master, I will take my leave. Hmm. 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 Did you see that, Yamasin? She must be in love with me. <laughs> ah, if this could only have happened a century earlier. <laughs> hmm. Well, let's leave that for now. I do sense a strange energy. <laughs> it is as I suspected. Eh, anyhow, it's time for dinner. Hello. I Hello. We might have a meal together. Oh, Where's stretchy dude. Pasta? You came all this way just to share a meal? Well, perhaps we could have a little talk while the curry is simmering. Yes, let's play a story mode for talking. What happens when evil ambition drives the world to the brink of destruction? Bison, I can only assume you are talking about him. However, that man no longer exists. Am I right? If you are convinced it was his psycho power and his tremendous army which sent the whole world into crisis, then I would say we have avoided the worst possible outcome for the time being. However, what if a real threat does not have a physical form like an army, but is something intangible, like a force of will? What if it is his dark ambition itself that is trying to swallow the entire world? Do you mean, even after his death, his dark ambition is still corrupting our world? That is difficult for me to imagine. Then please, allow me to surmise. Surmise away. Ouch. Missed. No. How 
Ouch. That turtle. You wish to battle me, but you are about a century too early. I didn't expect that. Old Master, you are most unpredictable. Ha ha ha! How was that? Well, this may have been just for fun. Even if something was just for fun. And if one has the sheer will of force to win, no matter what, or if one is willing to consider the possibility of losing, the result could be entirely different. My mind did not consider this. Oh, the will of Bison. Could it be? Yes, the dark ambition of that man with his tremendous power has already been exerted upon this world. It consistently threatens our existence. If he has used that concept to instill his will into others, then the apocalypse may yet come to pass. So you're saying, even after Bison's death, we still can't stop the world from moving towards destruction? Sadly, yes. And that, my dear friend, may be the true nature of psycho power. Psycho power. Corrupt and control people's minds. It is indeed quite disturbing. In that case, how do we avert that which is inevitable? Well, firstly, you could stop with the pessimistic attitude. Consider this. If such a powerful force of will could threaten the entire world, then those people, in the right state of mind, may have the power to save it instead. What is strength? Most who seek it end up vying for domination or destruction. Such things are a natural consequence, but they are ultimately meaningless. To overwhelm, subjugate, or even kill those who oppose you is but one interpretation of strength. However, if one's mind were free from such desires, and they sought out strength purely for its own sake, if a human with such a clear and unselfish state of mind does indeed exist, then that person can prevent the impending apocalypse, but only that person with that kind of strength. Oh. Aha! Well then, I believe that the curry is finally ready. Oh. Yes. Shall we? I'm starving. Yes. But, old master, I'd like to hear more of your thoughts on this. Perhaps you young people should figure it out. Ah, you I'm young starving. people. So, what kind of curry have you prepared today? But, old master, I... Well... To seek strength, purely for its own sake. To find someone in this world who is both pure of mind and pure of heart that would also be very interesting oh i hope he's not talking about luke <laughs> it's luke well oro gave me a lot to think about i don't want to think that much all right well let's hop into akira's story well then let's do it Sister to the Bancho. So, this is the place. I've heard a lot about this mansion. It really is as impressive as everyone said. I wonder if she's really planning to have it in here. Must be caring. So I'm invited to a girl's tea party. Oh, a tea party. All the parties at the Kanzuki residence always seem to end with us beating each other up. I wonder how things will go this time. But when I think about all the delicious desserts they always serve, I can't resist! Huh? Who's that? Hey, I don't know who you are. 
But we're having a girls' tea party today. If you want to make a challenge, come back another time. All right. Let's get Who this tea party on are? the road. That's what I'm asking you, stranger. Those studs and spikes you're wearing make you look suspicious. Since the two of us hadn't seen each other for a long time, we had planned on getting together to catch up. Not seen each other since some rival it, school and she action. To this tea party for all of us. Ah, uh, now I understand why she invited me too. Yes, thank you for inviting me as well. Now I get it. Sorry, I thought you were a suspicious guy. I'm Ibuki. So, how do you two know each other? Well, I could tell you. But why don't you do it, Akira? You remember? Well, it was way back when I was on a mission to find my brother. I was undercover at an all-boys high school. Wearing my helmet to disguise myself. Sakura. I want to become much stronger. Yes. I need to be stronger. I need to be stronger. I'll fight you and help you to train. <laughs> so, don't hesitate and just attack me. Let's go, brother. Back then, she helped me with my training. That's how we got to know each other. Ah, so you two are sort of battle buddies, huh? I kind of figured that. Yeah. Those were the days. Those were the days. Back, I'm getting excited just remembering. What? It's been a long time. So? Uh, well, aren't we having a girls' tea party today? But you already had a fight with Ibuki. Why can't you fight me too? <laughs> um, that's a little too close, Miss Sakura. Aw. Uh, you must be Kanzuki-san. Uh, how do you do? A pleasure to make your acquaintance, Miss Akira. You are the sister of the legendary gang leader Daigo Kazama, correct? It is an honor to meet you. Gre 
What? What was that? What was with that sound effect? Welcome to the Konsuki Tea Party. I brought some desserts from Delphone Bakery. Miss Sakura kindly recommended it. Their cakes are really delicious. <laughs> I've always wanted to eat their sweets. Awesome! It's definitely a popular shop. There are always people standing in line. Did you find everything in the store? I did a little research and noticed the company has great potential. Thus, I purchased a majority stake. Please, eat as much as you like and let me know how everything tastes. What? You bought the store itself? You do always tend to go big. I can eat as much as I want? <laughs> However, before we begin, Miss Akira Kazama, would you do me the honor of fighting me? Fight, what? fight, fight. Hansuki san, pardon my confusion. But I thought while we all chatted with each other, we were going to have tea and desserts. Yeah, that's true. But her tea parties always seem to end up like this. A moment in the heat of battle is worth more than a thousand words. What better way to get to know and understand one another is there? You know, she's right. That's how Akira and I got to know each other by fighting. Yep. Suki san can't resist competing with a strong rival. If you want to know someone better, just fight him. Before, I guess. She's quite eager to fight you as well. I understand. Then I accept your challenge. Let's go. If I find your skills are up to par, you can eat all the desserts you like, and I'll invite you to my private beach as well. Oh, the well, private then I won't beach. Hesitate. Here I come. Whoa, he didn't come. to greet you all again beach party Welcome time to the girls party at Konsuki private beach <laughs> take this <laughs> take this stop it stop it <laughs> blanka chan wow akira you're a really good swimmer uh-huh am i someone taught me a while ago who was it a boyfriend maybe <laughs> no it wasn't like that <laughs> By the way, what do you want to do next? You know, after this? Ooh. Huh? What? what do you mean? What else but have a match? I, Karin Kanzuki, will never fall to the same opponent twice. Yeah, she can't stand losing. Huh? Not again. I've got dibs on the next fight. Isn't that right, Akira? What? All right, I think we are done. That's both characters' story mode. Hope you enjoyed them. I think I want to try out some Akira and some online matches here later, but I'll have to do a little more practice with her. Anyways, hope you all enjoyed that, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.